Let me begin by saying one name, Soul Man Rocky Johnson. Thank you, thank you. And now to be able to return tonight for such a prestigious event and induct my father and grandfather, both of whom have had such profound influences on my life and my career, and it really brings my WWE experience full circle. Let me begin by saying one name, Soul Man Rocky Johnson. What, what the soul man my dad was able to accomplish during his career was no small feat. At a time of tremendous racial disparity, he was able to cross all lines and become one of the most dynamic and formidable performers of his time. I remember night after night watching him perform all over the country, being awed by his quickness, by his agility. He was an amazing performer. He moved like no one else. He threw a drop kick like no one else, and I remember watching him when I was a kid uh, here at that time. He did. He did. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing that. I remember when he was here, when he, when he worked here, he, he used to throw these amazing drop kicks, and I used to say to myself, <clears throat> when I become a professional wrestler, I want to throw a drop kick just like that. And I tell you, in 1996, when my dream came true, I started professional wrestling. I was down in Memphis. Jerry Lawler called a drop kick. I jumped over and I sit there and threw a drop kick. Oh, it was beautiful. Right in Jerry Lawler's knees. I never threw another drop kick again. <laughs> Steve can attest to that. Never, ever. But my dad was a hero to me. And I thought, <laughs> I thought like all professional wrestlers, he was larger than life. Legendary matches I witnessed as a kid against Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, Don Morocco, right here for the Intercontinental title. 